what's going on everybody welcome back to the booster Jaden youtube channel today i'm here with the tm swift daily swift and today we are focusing on the tm swift because there are some new issues that have come to light with it let's get into that video it's very windy today but we need to do this tm also has a water leak it's leaking coolant which I never realised, but this tank is fully empty. The radiator is probably a little bit too warm to open at the moment. I don't know. Let's check our temperature on the greedy eye touch. That'll tell us what our temperature is. And if it's under 30, then I should be able to... Okay, no, look, 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 look. look. TM is going to actually lose her hood. So what I need to do more importantly is I need to quickly whip this bumper off. It's already sitting off. I've already undone all the bolts to save some time. Put yours in the pod. I'll sit it there like that and I'm just literally going to pull the bumper off. Alright, so we're going to have a look underneath it. First thing I notice is that this hose is sitting... Like, this can't be sitting this low. Like, this needs to be hooked up to something. I don't know what my options are, but we're going to have to explore them. And I've just poked my head under here, and look right there. Look at the drips on that clamp. That should not be happening. So we've obviously got a problem down in here somewhere. So what I think we're going to have to do is that we're going to have to... We're probably going to have to move it to some level ground and look at that. Right there is a nice photo there. I'm going to take a photo for Insta. The TM looks <laughs> very naked at the front without her bumper on. And her bumper's there. But yeah, we need to fix that leak. So what I've actually done is I've gotten some coolant which is in the, the lock up there and I've also gone and picked up some proper cooling system water because I don't approve of using tap water not of all in this car just to be safe want to make sure that it's getting the correct coolant and that kind of stuff fluids, water, whatever I have checked the oil it's definitely not leaking oil but it is leaking coolant I say we, I'm going to quickly put that bumper somewhere safe because it's a very expensive mistake if that flies around this facility and I'm going to move the TM to some more level ground so I can jack it up and then hopefully we can find out what is going on with it. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the jack. We're going to jack up one side at a time. We're going to put a stand underneath the car. We want to get the car about at least a foot high in the air. So I can get underneath it safely. And then we're going to have a look at what the hell is going on with this leak. So I think what I might do is I might do like a hyperlapse of the car getting jacked up. I think it would be far too boring watching me do it, you know, on, on normal camera. jacked up, all on stands, it is very windy, but I'm very proud of where I am, put me stands actually, best to, I oh no, it's not going anywhere, the doors and all of that can be opened, which is quite cool, um, I'm probably going to try and set up a camera on the ground somehow, and jump underneath it, and have a look at what's going on. I'm trying to get yous in here, but I don't know if I can. But it's right up there. Like, it's really, really tight, but there's a clamp. Oh, you can only just see it, see? That could be leaking as well, but I'm guessing that the leak is something to do with this hose. 
because I'm not seeing anything anywhere else in the whole thing. There is absolutely no other drips other than the coolant and we have lost quite a lot of our coolant. No other leaks on the bottom though which is good. It definitely looks like the chassis had a paint or some lubrication at some stage. Those CVs are needing to come out. The belts, they look okay. Definitely quite gunky around here, but definitely not a... What's going on there? Look, there's drips on it. Maybe we'll have to check that that bolt for that pan's all nice and tight. But yeah, I'm going to go off camera, clean all of that up, tighten up those clamps, and then I'll come back to you and we'll see what it looks like after that. And just like that, I'm back. So what I had to do was I wiped down all of this coolant line, uh, oil line, sorry. So see, nothing on it. I get underneath it. Oh, I'm struggling to get back underneath it. Bear with me a second. Uh, this one was completely loose. Look at this. Look, there's not even any water in it. That one up there, loose. And then I have a little look around and a poke around and I'm like, you know, just randomly checking bolts randomly. Right here by the fan belt, look, I can undo it by my hand. What's this all about? bolt problems with TM like this was an issue before I had it rebuilt and it still seems to be an issue now literally shreds itself to bits and check out that pan that's been resealed before and it's got this too for the oil feed for the turbo custom pan which well presumed it had it the whole time but I've actually seen it now the other thing was that I was having a poke around, these were loose, and they're not now, and I was having a little look over here, and look at how clean just the top part of this hose came up. It's meant to be this nice blue colour, but it's all covered in this crap on it, which makes it look ugly. I don't have the time to sit here and clean hoses all day, but this one was loose, that one down in there was tight, which I can't get to the rest of it, so we have to hope it's okay. Um, and this one here was loose also. But look at this, I'm going to take the cap off, okay. Cap's right there. And I'm going to squeeze the hose. Look, I'm squeezing the hose. And nothing's even happening to the water. Like, it, it's not even, the coolant's not even getting to the hoses. So what's that all about? We're going to top it up now and hopefully it'll be all right. For our water, we're going to be using the, the Nurlon radiator and system cooling water. I just couldn't bring myself to put, you know, standard water in the radiator. So I went and got some from the auto parts store. We're going to position yours right here. We're going to top up that radiator. And then we're going to top up the coolant expansion tank. I hope you can see it. That's the best I'm going to be able to do, unfortunately. So, suppose I'm going to carefully pour my water in. And we'll see how much it uses. Okay, so we've got a little bit of green going in there. I can see the water of the squeeze in the hose. It's all getting sucked up again. I actually think that this coolant expansion tank over here, we move the camera up a little bit, actually really need to get some water into there I didn't even check the end that's not even wet so that that hasn't been leaking anywhere but I think 
we could probably get it to work. And we get a lot of visitors here at the unit, which is very annoying for my channel. But we're trying to fill it right up to the top. I'm going to put the water coolant in here now. Where's our water level at? So we're just on half full. Pull that radiator back up again. Well, at least the coolant's gone green again, which is good. And we'll put a little bit more water in the expander tank. Okay, so we're three quarters full on the expander tank on the little indicator there. I'm hoping that there's going to be no air bubbles in there. So we'll do it like that. I don't know, do you start the car with the cap off and let all the air bubbles come out? Or do you leave the expander tank off? Or do you just let it do its own thing naturally? I actually don't know. So we have used about two and a half litres of our water. Which was not a part of the plan. But we want the water to be in it, not, not in it. That cap should go on like, like that. Now, I suppose we start it up. All right, well, she starts. That's the good news. And she also isn't smoking too hard out, which is also good. Oh, I love that rumble, eh? It's so nice. My little fiasco has not put any lights on the dashboard thank god apart from a seatbelt light and a brake light 33 degrees is our temperature water temperature i'm hoping that we can get that to circulate pretty quickly if i'm being honest we have got the heater on full so it should open up that heater core pretty quickly and then yeah, it's just a waiting game now. I'm going to warm it up, see if it's leaking. If so, then we'll correct it from there. So I'm going to come back in a few minutes when it's warm. And hopefully, this is a win. Alright, well, it's been running for about 15 minutes now. And the temperature is currently sitting at 63 and it's otherwise running pretty good it was shooting a lot of moisture out of the exhaust but it has since stopped doing that still a little bit down in there it smells funky eh but not bad bad i've been waiting to feel a bit of temperature on the radiator but the hoses are warm and the fans are working. What I might do actually is we'll turn off the heater and see if we can actually get it to heat up a few more degrees. And I'm going to quickly look underneath it right here out of the way of all the belts and that and I don't see any water leaking on that hose or up above it which is good certainly nothing else left on these. I don't know what to do with these actually. They probably need to be put up higher but can't do a lot with them. 
I'll get it up off the stands and I'll get myself up off the floor and then we'll get it back, jack it back up, get it back in the air and then yeah go from there. Alright well I got TM all off the stands and everything so we're gonna go take her for a quick little blat. I'm unsure if I'll be able to hold the phone because I am on my own today. I got no one to help me with the camera today so I don't know. We might come back or we'll just be back once I've already done it. Alrighty, we're back from our little blat. Well, my little blat. I have actually been sitting here for ages. I took it for the drive and it ran and drove perfect actually. It's a shame that I can't stabilise the phone better and, well, the camera in the car better because you need to see what I see when I'm driving this thing, eh? She is a fucking beast. Anyways, I've been over the whole car. I've got to tighten that one bolt that we mentioned, the one down here, because that one is loose. And I'm very confident... Oh, I did use a screwdriver and I did try and make this intercooler look a little bit better because I think it looks ugly but as the mechanic and the previous owner told me that damage does not make any difference to the way that it would perform so that's all I care about really CTM's bumper has these little um, clicky things on it which I never realised I have put a cable tie up here so see this ain't coming down so far low anymore which is good I just got to take those ties off and then up under here which is where our coolant hose is I don't know if I can get you right in there or not but see that there's no drips on it so I think that for now I think it's probably okay now I'm hoping that I haven't missed anything but I've tried to be very thorough when doing this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off those cable ties that are underneath the bumper. And then we'll put the front bumper back on it. And I've opted not to take the one off the Daily Swift in there because TM has her bumper. I probably just need to be careful where I take it. So from today, there'll be new rules on where she can and can't go. As for the water, we're bang on the line right here. That's the line. There is a little um, thing here, so I'm going to take the cap off. And it's still full. And then if I squeeze the hose this time, remember when I squeezed it last time, nothing happened? Well, look now, we've got green coolant. So I'm happy with that for now. Put it back together. I've checked everything else, everything's fine. Sort out that bolt, sort out those clamps, and then we're putting the front bumper on. What do you reckon a socket would be for an aircon pump? I reckon about a, I don't know, we'll take a stab in the dark and say a 12, like that. And then we'll take this one and we'll put it on the end of it here, like this. Mm. Really hard to do this stuff on camera actually, but I'm trying, I'm trying to learn. So here's our tool, and here's our bolt, mm, good guess. That one's fine. And this one, yeah, it's very loose. So I'm just going to put the camera down for a second and tighten it. I might just see if you can sit right here, actually. It might, might be able to see it. You might not be able to see it. Okay, well, you're going to have to sit there like that while I do this. And then, if I can get it on... Oh, 
Oh, it's impossible to get this bolt. And then there's this one here, which is fine. All tight, all done. I'm happy with that. I did it another nip off camera and it came up quite good actually. All right, so bumper just about ready to go on. I did wipe all the coolant and oil off it. So we're gonna button it back up now. I'm gonna put yours in the pod and then we're gonna, it should just stick on on its own which I don't know so I'm gonna literally have to be so careful with this bumper Buttoned on that side, and it's buttoned on that side. Check out that for a perfect fitment. So TM Squarezy has these um, JDM washer nuts and bolts, which I don't know. Some of them are some of them are good. Some of them are really shit actually. They they thread and you know you know the deal. We'll put this one in first, and at least we know. She's not gonna fall off on us. And number two would go there, which they all seem to be going in to where they should be okay. Should be able to get this one in alright. TM Squarezy. <laughs> Quite like TM Squarezy. Okay, top one's in. We can try see if that one will fit, but... Mm, okay, well that one fits. These are the screws for the bumper, but when it came back from me from the mechanic after the rebuild, it had ones like this in it, which I don't really like those. I prefer to have them like this. So I'm gonna go find another one of these so that we can put these on both sides. <laughs> Get our access, and then we better put some little clip things to hold the what do you call it? The inner guard on. What? How can they no longer fit? Well, we'll try another one. How about this one? Seems to be holding it. Number two. Alright, and that's that side falling in. Now the other way. Last few to do. I always do the top screw first. And I've tried to put the best condition screws that I have in. Button it back up anyways. So let's have a look. This one will definitely fit because this is a new OEM style one. And it does. And this one I'm not sure about. Right at the last minute when I was about to give up, I found one last clip. Those inner guards are actually coming off it because they're completely shot. They're just not very good. I'm going to go underneath it now and do my last two. And that's the front bumper all reinstalled. Alright everyone, that's going to wrap up today's video. I've reinstalled the bumper. I've done bolt checks and I've topped up that coolant so I'm hoping and it's still full so I'm gonna have to monitor that very closely over the next couple of days and hopefully that problem is fixed 
I will just show you how easy it is to start. This little thingy turns. Just like that. No lights on the dash apart from what should be on. Fuel light, which I actually thought that that would have went out because it was on stands. Probably my boost up the road didn't help. Uh, yeah, no, I, I think that that's all good. So that's going to wrap up today's video. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed me trying to fix the TM Swift. I hope it's fixed it myself, and I'm not very happy about the loose bolts, but hey, we've got to work with it. We can't do much else. Like this video if you liked it. Give it a dislike if you didn't like it. Follow me on Instagram if you're not already. I post far more there than I will ever on YouTube, although I am working very hard to put out a couple of videos a week now. Also, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I'll catch you in the next video.